Howdy, YouTube. Are you on the hybrid coming at you? Um, I know I haven't really been... <coughs> uh, I haven't posted anything the past couple of weeks. Uh, I've been a little bit under the weather. So I'm, I'm finally over that, and I know that's why I didn't upload a, uh, a feeding video last week. Uh, I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't up to it. And I had pre-recorded a video from last week, but... It was really unorganized, and I didn't really, uh, didn't want to upload that. I didn't like it. So we're going to try again. This week, we will be feeding a few of my slings, hopefully, as well as a few other additions. My crickets are getting out, so that's not good. Um, <laughs> we'll be feeding crickets, as usual. I'm still working on my super worm farm. Um, there are a couple of things that I want to show you guys. My Hamori just molted yesterday, or this morning, I want to say. And uh, these two here, I would believe, are probably in uh, pre-molt. This one's been webbing pretty heavily, trying to build some kind of a hammock, I'm guessing, for it to molt in. So, without any further ado, we're going to feed these two Pizolotherius, hopefully. Uh, my Nandu Chromatis, my Grandma Stola Polkripes. My Homori, or not my Homori, my uh, Bohemi. We're going to feed hopefully all of my OBTs. Those are doing really well, as well as my uh, Hapalopus species Columbia. Um, that's doing really well, as you can see. It's been pretty, it's actually been pretty busy in this little enclosure here. It's all webbed up. I'll do another quick update on these guys here. I'm going to look at them. It's my. Uh, Apollosum, my curly hair, and my uh, strike me, which I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but I can certainly see it. She does actually have a shade of blue to her. I don't know if you can really pick up that sheen. You can kind of see it on the legs up here. So I'm not sure if she's supposed to have that color form to her. Or not the other side is just a regular kind of tan with the top being a black with like a dark blue like purple kind of sheen I know I can see it right now but I'm not sure if the camera's really picking it up but um, as well we're gonna feed my vinegaroon so uh, let's get started shall we we'll start off with the uh, the bigger guys here let's start off with the vinegaroon actually he's been pretty uh, gonna drop that in there let's see oh that's a pretty good takedown he's been pretty busy in here he's been building all kinds of little tunnels and stuff I do try to keep the substrate pretty moist. It's actually due, as you can see, my scorpion tanks are a little bit dry. So it's actually, they're watering day, so don't uh, don't fret on the substrate being a little bit dry. It is actually watering day for my scorpions. Um, let's move right along. Oh, he's got him a nice little meal there. As you can see, this one here, I'm not sure if it's normal for Grandma Stolas to do this, but uh, I actually have quite a bit of webbing down in here. Let me see, she's doing pretty, really good. Good and healthy. She's got a nice little blooper on there, so uh, probably feed her something a little bit smaller to just kind of hold her over. Just going to go ahead and... There we go. Let the camera focus for a second. Come on, camera. course it would go behind the water dish here. No, don't run. Really? Ah, she'll, I'll get her another one. She'll eat it. There we go. Let's try again. She's always really hungry. I always get really good food responses from her. So... I usually just kind of try to feed her in the videos. As you can see, she's got a nice healthy abdomen. She's doing really well. 
I'm hoping if I keep stalling, maybe my Nandu will actually come out of that little hole that it's created there. It's, of course, it's buried off in the corner down here. So, let's move right along. Let's keep this video going. And we are going to feed this one next. Here we go. Let's see if I can tease it to cut it to come out. Oh, not hungry? I don't think this one's hungry. Oh. Nope. Mm, not hungry. So I would imagine probably in pre -malt. So I guess we'll do this. Actually, you know what? I have the cricket. We'll go over here to my... Pisa Letheria. I'm going to try to feed this girl. There we go. <laughs> I should hold her over for a while. That is my Pizolotheria regalis. Little juvenile there. Go ahead and close this up so she can eat in peace. I say she, I haven't actually sexed this one yet. So hopefully I have a uh, female. Try to do this as peaceful as possible. And then we will try to feed my Fatata which lives down in this cork bark tube here. It only seems to come out at night, so I'm not sure if they're just naturally nocturnal. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover her up, although I'm sure she won't wander out. She usually doesn't. Let's go ahead and cover her up and put her back top here where she goes. Let's grab no, that's not a good grab. I'm gonna try to get it. There we go. I could hold on it. Let's see, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one to come out. And away it goes. So, she did grab it. I don't know. Yeah, I can't really see down in there. But she did grab it, so there we go. That's good. Go ahead and close this once again. So that way she doesn't... Uh, I won't take a chance of these guys getting out. Because they are an old world. Well, they, they do not frighten me, but... Uh, better to be safe than sorry. You never really know what could happen with your back turned. These little guys, I don't really worry too much about them because they're really not that fast. And I know I could catch them. And I wouldn't really have to worry about if I had to snag one up if I took a bite. Wouldn't really have to. Not, not that it would be desirable. I have not been bitten by any of my species, including my scorpions. I have not been stung by my scorpions. I have not been pinched by my scorpions or bitten by any of my, uh, any of my little spiders here. Something I'm quite proud to say. I have not been bitten. And I would like to remain not bitten. As most responsible keepers should. So, I'm guessing my Nandu isn't going to want to come out. So, we're going to have to go to him. Or her. Hopefully it's a her. Release. This is right here. See what happens. Huh? The cricket must have got wise. He's like, uh, no, I'm not going over there. Let's see if we can encourage him to go back the other way. Bam! Whoa! I've actually haven't really seen this one out too much, as it tends to like to hide down in its little burrow here. 
of course, now it's going to turn around and show me that, that nice, beautiful red butt. They're really shy, so they don't really come out much. And when I do see him out, I can never get any pictures because as soon as I touch the enclosure, he darts and runs down here. So, eh, got to kind of try to enjoy him from behind glass. <laughs> because as soon as you touch him and try to do anything with him, he bolts. Here is my... Eh, he ain't really going <laughs> to see anything in there. That's my caravan of color. Here's my Erminia. I'm going to have to rehouse this one soon, I think, because it is actually starting to put on some size. And I worry that this little enclosure, I've seen her a lot more active. So I'm worried that this enclosure here is starting to become a little bit small for her. And I really would rather her not trying to bite and find a way out. So... I will probably have to relocate that one soon. And I'll have to uh, rehouse my S. calciatum stroma, stromatelma calciatum. I think that's how it's pronounced. Because it actually did. I don't know if you can see right where my thumb is. There is a molt right there. And it has actually put on some some size. So I believe I will be transferring, once I, once I move this one out, I'll be transferring this one into here with hopefully not wrecking the home too much so it can just kind of move in. And this will give me a lot more room to work with, you know, being an SCAL. Definitely not something that you really want to um, be gambling with. I want to be able to have a little bit more room to work because they are pretty flighty and they're pretty, they're skittish. Not so much defensive, just skittish. And they freak out really easily. And the last thing you would want is one of those to freak out and bolt up your arm. It has actually happened to me. But, I need to get a new Critter Creeper because they figured out that this crack here, they can crawl up it. And I think they've been getting out. Not that I'm really too worried. I'm sure the little lizards that inhabit our house will... Uh, be more than happy to take care of them or if they happen to so wander into one of these enclosures the the inhabitants of this will uh, definitely take care of the situation Let's see if we can try to feed this little guy here this is the first OBT that we will try to feed Let's see if I can find something small enough Boop. bam there we go. That is OBT number three. I don't know if you guys use any of these like the apps. There's a My Tarantulas app that's on the App Store, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way. Um, but uh, let's see if I can find any of the other ones that are. Oh, this one's out. I'll try to feed this one. But um, it's a really helpful app. I know that I use it because it helps me to keep track of all my feedings and so forth. Drop this in here. And it bolted. Yeah, it's down in this little hole there, so it's probably not going to come out. And this is the thing about feeding slings. You never really know what's going to happen. I'll just kind of leave it in there and I'm sure it will find it. Here is the other one. But it is currently hidden away. So I'm not even going to bother with that one. Some of these guys, it's kind of hit or miss. This one is... Oh, no, that one's out, but now it is hiding. We'll try to feed my Columbia. Try not to destroy her web too much. Mm, that might be a little bit big. Grab this guy here. Doop. 
Man, what, did you get him by the leg? Oop. Huh, yeah, she grabbed it by the leg and then had to let it go and then re-grab it again. Huh. As you can see, she's got a lot of web in here. It's a beautiful species, it really is. They do a lot of webbing. And they actually sport their adult colors almost instantaneously. So they're a really cool little species to have. They are a dwarf species, so they do start off really small, but in my opinion, totally worth it. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to end this feeding video here. Because like I said, my other two little slings, they went and bolted. So I'll have to just drop something in their enclosure and they'll come back out and get it later. Same thing with my s calciatum and my H-Mac. The H-Macs only come out at night, so... And it's still really small. It, it's a possibility it could be in pre-molt as well, because I haven't really seen it out and about. But I do know it's still in there, because I can still see it. It just doesn't really come out much. So, with that being said, I believe we are going to go ahead and wrap this up right here. As always, if you liked what you've seen, like, comment, subscribe. Um, there's definitely going to be more stuff coming. Uh, we got a Repticon coming up uh, next month in November. I believe it's on November 10th down here in Florida for me. Um, I'll be going. I'm not sure if I'll be bringing anything home, but uh, hopefully maybe I'll be able to shoot a couple of clips while I'm there as a little bit of a, a Repticon thing, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, anyways, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, if you like what you see here, You'll definitely like what you see there. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you guys.